So you and your friends are from another world? I have to admit, that's rather hard to grasp. This world's the only one I've ever known. On top of that, you're also telling me you're thieves who steal hearts. And you just stumbled into this world? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Believe me, we're in the same boat here. All of a sudden, we were surrounded by Marie's forces, and you had to rescue us. We really have no idea what's going on. Well, we can try to hash it out later. Uh, Morgana, and you. I suppose it's my turn to answer questions. Feel free to ask away. She's a ruthless tyrant who fancies herself the ruler of these parts. This used to be a peaceful place, free of any sort of conflict. Then, Marie appeared, and everything changed. She declared that the entire city and all its citizens were now her property. With her invincible soldiers leading the way, she quickly seized full control. Invincible soldiers? You mean, those guys who attacked us? Yes. We've taken to calling them Legionnaires. I'm sure you saw for yourselves. Not only are they incredibly strong, but all we can do is knock them out. They're always back on their feet all too soon. No matter the tactics we try, they're seemingly invincible. Maybe they're shadows of some kind. Only Personas can put down a shadow. No wonder you didn't stand a chance. Shadows? Personas? Whatever those may be, I knew you had solid intel on the enemy. Anyway, after Marie showed up and declared that this was her kingdom, now she brainwashes anyone she can find, then uses them up until they're nothing. Anything else you'd like to ask? Yeah, she said this was the Rebel Corps' hideout, didn't she? Marie is strong enough that it'll take everyone in the city to stop her. That's why I founded the Rebel Corps. I've served as leader ever since. As the one who inspired the citizens here to fight, it's my job to see that Marie no longer enslaves them. Well, you certainly have a good reason to be considered a criminal, huh? Pretty impressive, Arena. Well, our current win record certainly isn't impressive. There are so few of us left now. We're basically an army in name only. Yeah, when your enemies get right back up, there's only so much you can do. Right. The best we can do now is lay low here and look for gaps in their defense. So, was there anything else? Why? You two were in trouble, so I had to help. Even if it meant getting caught? Those guys already had it out for you. True. And I admit I was already considering recruiting you to our cause. I'd never seen anyone go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Marie's forces before. Not that well, anyway. We'll certainly take the compliment. But you were the real star back there. Thanks again, Arena. It was a pretty big gamble on my part but I'm definitely glad it paid off. So, anything else? So, I understand that Marie is doing whatever she pleases in this world. But do you know if she has a goal? If she's going through the effort of enslaving everyone, it has to be for some reason. <sighs> the perfect wedding. The perfect wedding? She wants to get married? Yes, Marie is in a perpetual state of preparing her wedding. It's become her single obsession by this point. It always needs to be more, no matter the pain it may cost. Can't say I expected that. Her own legionnaires, the citizens she captured, even your own friends are all forced to prepare her wedding. She was even able to command them to build her that tank with the premature message on the grill. Marie sounds like a real threat. She's self-centered enough to sacrifice everyone around her for her own desires. And if 
if she's as powerful as she seems, then everyone's in real trouble. Oh, we need to act fast. Well, now that we've got a grasp on things, let's figure out our next course of action. Yeah, that's our top priority. But given how strong their brainwashing is, this isn't gonna be easy. About that, I have a suggestion. You two want to free your friends from Marie and escape this metaverse. And I want to take Marie down so nobody has to live under a tyrant anymore. With that in mind, I think we should join forces. Would you be willing to join the Rebel Corps if I were to help you on your rescue mission? I see. In other words, you want to make a deal, right? How about it? Yeah, there's still way too much we don't know to do this on our own. Not only do we need to rescue our friends, but we need to figure out how to get back home, too. I'd say the more of us, the better. And she seems pretty capable, too. We talked it over, and it's unanimous. You've got a deal, Arena. Excellent. Then it's the deal. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. First things first. I officially deem you two members of the Rebel Corps. So, with that said... Welcome to the Resistance, comrades! Comrades? Uh, well, uh... I guess we'll just go with that for now.
So you and your f She'd a cliff. Yes. Why? Yeah. Yeah, there's still... Better jot that down. later, Arena. You were out on recon, right? Find anything? Yeah, correct, Captain. And your intel was right on the mark. Multiple unknown individuals are being held in the prison near Marie's castle. I'm not surprised that Marie sees you and your compatriots as a threat. Despite being brainwashed, her more powerful puppets usually get locked up and not in use. We won't know for certain whether or not these are your friends unless we see for ourselves. start upholding my end of the deal. If we really did find your friends, they could give our forces a solid boost when we spring them. All right, we'll head out once you've rested up. I'll draw up a plan of attack. It won't take very long. Man, I didn't expect us to get beat as badly as we did. like usual really held us back there. Maybe the metaverse just works differently here? Well, it's no use thinking about it now. Plus, we've got Arena helping us out with that now. Hopefully she comes up with a strategy that... Hey, was that... The blue door! Don't tell me. 
Wait, is it different somehow? Let's go through it. She might be able to tell us what's going on. At the very least, she'll have our backs. I should write that down. Whoa! It looks totally different in here now. There are a bunch of machines all over the place. What happened? It's been a while. <laughs> well, a very short while, I suppose. Welcome to the Velvet Room. This realm exists between dream and reality, between mind and matter. It appears you've suffered quite the ordeal. Miss Lavenza! <sighs> this place has been affected by the same guidance of fate as that which has claimed yourselves. And this guiding hand must be wielded by a being with significant power. Responsible, nor their intentions. All I can say for certain is that our current situation deviates greatly from the natural course of events. I admit that my carelessness led to being caught in this aberration and pulled from my master's side. Oh, it got you too, Miss Lavenza? Whoever this being may be, they are also responsible for the chaotic state of this room. It's as if some force of negation has infected this place. This force has unfortunately affected you all as well, deepening the issue you currently face. I see. So that's why we couldn't summon our personas like usual. This woman named Marie called the place a kingdom or something. Whatever it is, it sure is weird. Then I will henceforth refer to that realm as a kingdom. This kingdom. is a world disparate from Mementos and the other palaces. Unfortunately, returning will be no easy feat. We would each be stuck here for eternity were we to simply wait. Right. We've never given up before, and we're not starting now. We're gonna rescue the others and get us all the hell out of here. I expected as much from you. This realm, sealed off from all other realities, there is still much to learn. However, so long as you have the will to overcome this ordeal, I will spare no effort to aid you. I am the one who rules over power. To draw out the potential lying dormant within you, I shall reprise my role for you in this place. As I had previously explained, this room has suffered from a grave disturbance. Apologies, but would you mind taking your leave? I vow to tidy up the place before your next return. Indeed, I wholly believe that you can do this, Trickster. Morgana, I leave him in your care. 
And I'll be sure not to let you down, Miss Lavenza. By the way, that outfit. Is that also the mysterious being's fault? No. I merely thought, under the circumstance, I could perhaps dress more fittingly to theme. What do you think? Does it suit me? Uh... uh... Does it suit me? Yeah! Uh, looking cool! It <laughs> pleases me to hear that. Well then, please visit me anytime you need, through the door in the hideout. We shall meet again soon. Which means... I should write that down. I've got some new products available. What would you like? You're well prepared. Everything good? All right, here you go.
what to do. So, <clears throat> pictures, hmm? <clears throat> Examine the pic. Is it this? <clears throat> pictures, hmm? This is it. This here? <clears throat> Should we look back? Is it this? Understood. Is it this? Let's see. Ah, yes. This is it. Let's see. <clears throat> see you around. However, a moment, please. current plan. Take a look at this map. I see. The whole city's surrounded by the castle's outer walls, huh? Yes, the hideout's marked here. We're in part of the city that's a fair distance from the castle. And here is the prison where they're holding your friends. How do you plan for us to get there? Well, we certainly can't just travel the streets. Security is tighter than ever now. They've been after me for quite a while, but now they're looking for you two as well. So, I think the safest course of action is to make our way there along the top of the castle's outer walls. Yeah, we're definitely less likely to get surrounded that way. ourselves phantom thieves for nothing, right? Oh, good. Sounds like this strategy will play to your strengths. Hopefully we can find our friends and get them out of there before it's too late. Everyone, hang on just a bit longer. Not yet, ma'am. But we have every last man hunting them now. 
I see. Then every last man is absolutely pathetic. I want those three at my feet now. Yes, madam. I swear, how can they all be so useless? Just as the ceremony was falling into place, the vermin start crawling in through the walls. All I need is the perfect wedding, then everything I've ever wanted will finally be within my grasp. Until that moment comes, anyone in my way is sure to regret it. Oh, playthings! I think I'm in the mood now to try out my new little toys. That defiant little brat who escaped. Joker, was it? You are to find him and bring him to me. I want him alive. Got it? Your, Your wish is our command, command great Lady Marie. Soon, I'll have that arrogant brat within my grip once more. And this time, I'll crush him right in front of his friends! <laughs> I should write that down. What to do here? But don't let your guard down.
Here I go. All right. Persona! Take this. Another enemy down. Get ready. should do it here. I've got to know. Just what the hell are those things? Look, your powers aren't working like usual either, are they? Miss Lavenza didn't know what was going on either. That means we must have reached a really strange place. It seems you two are still feeling held back. I must say, you're certainly holding your own regardless. That persona of yours. How'd you get that? If you don't mind my asking. Mm, I guess that's not wrong, but... I just get angry? At anything at all? Good? We 
leave it to me. Position, if you ask me. Hit him hard! Another hit! All right. Excellent marksmanship by me! Fire! Nice, Arena! Enemy hit! Take them down! Ah! Totally saw that. You're in You're in perfect down. cover! Take this! Not this! Me. You nice. gotta do better! An incredible evasion! What's You're in do perfect here? cover! Joker, better safe than sorry. Boy, a natural phantom. Boom and time will last in the snare. Here we go and turn them. Excellent positioning, Joker. <laughs> Leave it to Joker's shot hit. There's no room to bargain. Come forth, my other half. So the rest of my sorrow. Joker. Now's the time. On point is always Joker. Nice. Another enemy down. You know when get ready. Ready to go? We made it? That went surprisingly well. Huh? Oh, got it. Shh! Legionnaires incoming! Hide! Like we're in the clear. Security's a lot tighter around here. You 
Phantom Thieves are in a whole different league. I could learn a thing or two from you. We try to find every advantage we can. Never take your opponent's head on unless you have to. And consider that your first lesson in Phantom Thievery. But it looks like you're getting the hang of it pretty quickly. Right, Joker? Oh, great idea! Want to become my next apprentice, Arena? <laughs> I'm honored, but I'm already struggling to keep up. More incoming! Only a few of them this time. Let's start the next lesson. Send it.
can't help but be enamored by my own skill. Take it down. do here. Here's this area is free of guards. Let's keep moving. Hmm. What's wrong? Everything seems to be going well enough, considering. It's just... This place is guarded pretty well. So why haven't we heard any alarms yet? You mean, this could be a trap? Something's off here. Or we 
work might get a lot tougher real soon. No use worrying over it now. All we can do is keep going. There can't be much further to go. It's so quiet in here, it's creepy. Uh. Hmm? Uh. In there! <laughs> We've come to save you! You've come to what? It's not! <laughs> hmm? Who are you? Well, that's what I was gonna ask! So you're telling me this man isn't a phantom thief? Joker, do you even recognize him? Huh? <sighs> well, in that case... Just who did we free? Hmm? I thought the others were being held here. But where have I seen this guy before? On TV? Oh, right! The politician that went missing! It's Kasukabe or something, right? Um, yes. I'm Toshiro Kasukabe. I'd like for someone to tell me that as well. <sighs> I don't get it. Just what is happening here? Finding myself in this bizarre world with all those terrible monsters? Then I get rescued by a magician-looking teen with a bizarre cat mascot. Something wrong with me? When did I even get here? He's muttering to himself like a loon. But at least he doesn't seem brainwashed by Marie. And let's see if we can help him. Maybe he has some useful intel for us. Well, we certainly can't just leave him here to rot. That settles it. We're gonna help you escape this prison. I don't know who you people are, but I would definitely like to get out of here. I suggest we make our way out before those terrible girls come back. Terrible girls? Yes. They had been guarding this prison until very recently. I promise you, they are not to be trifled with. I suggest avoiding them at any cost. Especially the girl with the whip and the brazen leather outfit. She's the scariest one, by far. Hmm. I have a feeling we know just who he's talking about. Oh my! Just where do you four think you're going? times do I have to remind you? You belong right here. It's her! Leather suit whip girl! Listen, you must not provoke her! If you do, she won't hold back! I'll just keep quiet. They're both far too dangerous to fight. Don't speak to them. Just figure out how to get out of here and take me with you. Oh, quit babbling, you pathetic coward. Did you really not get the whining whipped out of you last time? 